This is the best of the week on Relevant Radio. Hi, this is Peter Atkinson. This week, we're bringing you a special re-release of the story of St. Francis, the saint who left behind a life of wealth and status to follow God. And next week, hear about another person who also left behind everything to follow God. This person isn't from the far past, though. In fact, she's from Philadelphia. Join us next week for Catherine Drexel, next week on The Saints. Assisi, Italy, 1202 AD. Francesco di Bernardino is the son of a wealthy cloth merchant in Assisi, Italy. Between lavish parties and manly sport, Francesco doesn't have much time for God. But when he joins the war between Assisi and Perugia, his life is fated to change forever. This is the true story of Francis of Assisi. The Saints, Adventures of Faith and Courage. Francis of Assisi, Episode 1, The Night. Listen to all the episodes and discover new shows at thesaintspodcast.com. Francesco, is that a new horse? Yes, his name is Olivier. Is he not splendid? A present from my father. Your father spoils you. I know. Aren't I lucky? Do you know who's going to be at the party tonight, Francesco? Who? Delphine. Oh, Francesco. (laughs) She has her eyes on you. Can you blame her? It should be a very interesting party. <laughs> Dulce dam jolia, po tu ne pensi mia, che nulla signoria su me fa per sulle mo. Whoa! What is wrong, Olivier? What do you see? Your horse smells them. Who? Those lepers over there in the trees watching us. Unclean! 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 Listen to their clackers. It's a good thing they have to call out a warning. Maybe we should go a different way, Francesco. Oh, just the sight of them makes me nauseous. You and me both. I can smell them now, too. Hold your noses. If we go up that hill, we can go around them and avoid coming any closer. Good idea, Francesco. Seeing their emaciated faces and disintegrating body parts is sickening. Let's go. Look, Francesco, what I brought you from Paris. Father, what a beautiful tunic. It must have cost a fortune. It's worth it if it makes my son happy. Oh, Francesco, try it on, s'il vous plaît. I will, Mama. Uh, Let me take off the one I'm wearing. Oh. Just see how handsome you are. That blue silk is stunning against your dark eyes and hair. Oh, I can wear it to the party tonight. I'm glad you like it, Francesco. Like it? I love it! Thank you, Father. You work hard in our textile business, my son. I just wanted to give you a little surprise to thank you. You've made me very proud. And of course, one day the business will be yours. I appreciate that, Father. Even though I will have to take some time off if I decide to join my friends and the fight against Perugia. Francesco, you're not thinking about going to war. Pika, he's a man now. Of course he will go. Besides, the Perugians are a race of savage warmongers, even if they call themselves nobility. We have to fight back. And yes, Francesco, I will give you as much time as you need. That makes me very happy, Father. Um, Thank you. You have all it takes to be a knight. You're good with the sword, and you have superior skills on the horse. I will prove my valor on the battlefield and earn a coat of arms. I'll order the finest armor for both you and your horse. Then I have your blessing. Absolutely. You look very handsome tonight, Francesco. Of course, you always have the most beautiful clothes. Perhaps. But you do not need beautiful clothing, Delphine. Whatever you wear, you are always the loveliest woman in the room. Although I must say, your gown tonight is stunning. (laughs) That's quite a compliment. Thank you, Francesco. I got the fabric from the market. Here, here! Here, here! 
I have an announcement to make. Francesco has decided to join the rest of us in the battle against Perugia. Francesco, you're going? Yes, my father gave me his blessing. I think we need a toast. To Francesco, the future knight. Francesco! Francesco! <laughs> and to our success! <laughs> He's just going through the Porta Antica Gate. Do you see him? Yes! Yes, I do! Oh, he looks like a knight in that suit of armor. It's finer by far than anyone else's. Oh, we is very handsome. But uh, I am his mother. I am concerned about him. He'll be fine, Pika. Don't worry so. Ah, bien. The monks from San Pietro are giving them all their blessings. Oh, Francesco, my son! May God protect you! Oh, yes, Pietro. We must be steadfast in our prayers. <laughs> Albus! Francesco! Can you hear me? Are you hurt? Yes, Bernardo! I can hear you! I, I, no, I am not hurt! I'm all right as well! I'm right behind you! Something's wrong! What do you mean? Yes! It's just what I feared! It's an ambush! Ambush! Where? Off to the right! See them! Are they Borussians? Everyone looks alive! I don't know! It's very confusing! I... Uh, stay back! They have us surrounded! Francesco, behind you! <laughs> How long has he been this way? I don't know. Maybe a week or so. Has he been eating? No. <laughs> mostly just sleeping. Sometimes talking crazy. Aldo! Bernardo! Or moaning like that. He's burning up with fever. Why didn't you send for me earlier? We can't keep sending for doctors every day. They lost the war, and now they are paying the price. So who cares if they die? I thought these men were being kept alive for ransom. He's been here for months. I doubt that's going to happen. Can you hear me? I'm a doctor. I want to help you. I heard what you said. But I do not understand. What do you mean you don't understand? You, 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 you asked if I want to follow the master... Gore, you must have been dreaming. Tell me the answer. Young man, you're delirious. You have a very high fever. Why would I follow the man if I could follow the master? I have no idea what you're talking about. There's not much I can do for him at this point. Bring in some cold cloths to keep down his fever. Why bother? He's not going to make it. You don't know that. I see men like him all the time. He won't last a week. But we should do what we can. <laughs> there he is. Oh, dear Lord! Francesco! Francesco, I'm here! I've come to take you home. Father... We thought you were dead. But when Aldous came back, he told me you were being held hostage. Aldous is alive? He was wounded, but he's all right. <coughs> I thought that everyone else was killed. What about Bernardo? I don't know what happened to Bernardo, but Aldous is alive, and thank God so are you. But now we have to get you out of here. I've paid your ransom. Can you stand up? Why? We're going home. Home? Yes, my son. Let me help you up. Father, you are here. Yes. Uh, We're going to be all right. Oh. He's <coughs> come. It's all right, Francesco. Uh, where is Mama? You Mama. will see her. It's all right. Thank God he's home. But he just sleeps all the time, Pietro. At least he's not coughing anymore. Oh, Francesco. Francesco, my poor little one. Mama. Yes. 
Yes, my darling. I'm here. So much death and dying. It must have been awful. You never should have gone to war. All these disputes between Assisi and Perugia, they've got to stop. But you're, you're home now, my sweet. You're safe. What does he want of me? Who? God. God? He keeps asking me and asking me. What is he talking about? I don't know. He's still delirious. Yes. Oh, here, my sweet. Let me bathe your head with this cool cloth. It will make you feel better. But, Mama, I need to know. Hi, this is Peter Atkinson, founder of The Merry Beggars. Tune in to Episode 2, The Leper, to hear the next installment of Francis of Assisi. Listen to all the episodes and discover new shows at thesaintspodcast.com. The Merry Beggars is the entertainment division of Relevant Radio.